I became a, fa a pacifist on August 6, 1945, when the atom bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. I was in the U.S. Navy doing boot camp training at that time and couldn't help but contrast the smiles on the faces of people in San Diego where I was stationed as they anticipated the end of the war coming up fairly soon and the photographs of incinerated bodies etched against concrete buildings in Hiroshima. And I felt a strong sense that I was directly involved in being part of a war machine that had, had done this. When the airliners crashed into the uh, World Trade Towers and the Pentagon on 9-11. I was horrified, as was everyone else. But I, I responded very positively to a, a letter written by another Lander resident, Laurie Sane, suggesting that an appropriate response to Al-Qaeda's act of aggression might be to undertake a project that would bring clean water to every village in Afghanistan. Uh, I, I wrote to President Bush at the time and suggested that uh, Osama bin Laden be treated as an international criminal, that he be apprehended by international police and uh, brought to trial by an international court. And had those two suggestions somehow been implemented, it might have changed the course of human history. It would have set a precedent for responding to aggression in a creative way. And I think the president made a terrible choice when he decided instead to go to war and invaded Afghanistan and then not long afterward shifted the war to Iraq, telling a series of lies about why he was doing this, when clearly the motive for doing so was to protect our access to the oil in Iraq. Had our access to oil been seriously diminished, it might even have hastened our shift to renewables which were not really accomplishing at all while ignoring the consequences of climate change. Anyway, my, my, my feeling about 9-11 is that it presented a remarkable opportunity and that the opportunity was completely ignored and lost and that the real tragedy lies in the lives of people on both sides, on all sides, that have been lost and bodies that have been shattered and minds that have been shattered. Uh, so this, I don't think this is a conventional view. And if I were a parent who had lost sons or daughters, in Iraq or Afghanistan, I probably wouldn't like to hear what I just said.